Hello, this is Ken from tech to you and I'm going to show you how to uh, format your external hard drive so they will be read by your PlayStation 3. Alright, one of the things you want to know is that the PlayStation 3 only reads in FAT32. Um, in some of the conversions, it may only convert some of the data uh, that you have available. Uh, the one I'm going to show you will convert all of it. Uh, first, um, I'll just show you this is a one terabyte um, hard external hard drive that I've already converted uh, for this exercise. I'm going to convert my other one, which is a 500 gig, but they're exactly the same conversion. You want to make sure that you get USB 2.0. Um, I bought one of these before, and um, it was 3.0 and 2.0. 3.0 is a newer uh, version of USB connection is supposed to be faster but not many devices are using it right now um, but for any reason for whatever reason my old PlayStation the 80 gig one could read that um, but my slim uh, PlayStation could not read it so I went and just got a regular 2.0 with no 3.0 in it once I did the conversion it worked just fine alright um, you will need to download a free software <coughs> uh, uh, some free software called Maxor Max Blast, and I'll show that to you uh, in a moment. But let's go to the first step. You want to go down here to your start button. All right, getting a little tighter. You want to go and right click on my computer. You want to go to manage. After you go to manage, you want to go to disk management and left click on that twice. All right. And there you'll see the uh, NTFS format. We're going to change that to FAT32. And I'm pointing at that one right there, that bottom one. Um, so we're going to go to it, highlight it. And then we're just going to hit delete. And it's going to come up with this little, um, uh, these few sentences here, deleting this volume will erase all the data, backup data you want, keep from deleting. Okay. Do you want to continue? We want to say yes. Okay. So now it says free space. Okay. So then we're going to click out of that up here. We're going to go to the software that I've already pre-downloaded, and it's called Maxor Max Blast. And that's what it looks like, Maxor Max Blast 5. And so right now it's searching for the hard drive, and it says, a blank drive has been found. Do you want to prepare for the disk data? So we want to say yes. All right. And we'll pan out a little bit here. And uh, you can read over all this. It's just asking you, um, telling you what it's going to do. Um, but we're going to go ahead and say next. Okay. Again, you can read over it. Um, but we're going to go next. Okay. And we're going to keep hitting next here hit next again and then right there you'll see this asking you do you want FAT32 NTFS FAT16 we want to go FAT32 okay alright so now we're gonna hit next and you could do primary uh, partition, partitions or a logical drive um, the descriptions will change and tell you uh, right in this area what each of them do you can read those and do whichever partition it's really more of just a preference um, to how you want it to be used so I'm gonna choose logical hit next and right here you get to choose how much of the partition uh, if I wanted just 40 gigs it is to be fat 32 100 gigs, 200 gigs, whatever you may want, that's what you put in this area here. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm doing it all. You can do whatever you'd like.
because you can split it up and have FAT32. You can split up and have part of it be NTFS, however you want. But this time I'm going to do it. So I'm going next. Um, here you can um, put a label. Um, it's optional. I'm not going to put a label. Hit next. All right. Um, again, you can read over the, any information there that pertains to you. Um, I'm going to hit next again. And um, I'm going to hit next one more time to proceed. Okay. So now we'll go through this formatting here. Alright, it says new disk was successfully added. You hit OK. And you close this out. And you'll want to go to back to my computer, which is in the start button. Start button. Then computer. Now don't right click, just left click regular until it brings up your um your drives and then make sure that your drive is there. Mine is in G. So there you see it there. And you can when you open it up, it has nothing on there right now. But we'll do the properties here. You can see it's reading it and everything. All right, all right. And then once it's done, um, you uh, basically just take it out, put it in your PlayStation. And as I told you, I've done the uh, the other one already. So let me. Let me show you. What it looks like. That's the one terabyte. As you see, I've already used up 336 gigs um, and I have 522 left. And here is that hard drive here hooked to it. And I formatted it just like I did this other one. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll try to help out uh, as best I can. But uh, this is just uh, showing you how to format your external hard drives for your PlayStation. This is Kenneth from Tech2U. Please subscribe. Bye.